And welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing! Last time we participated in the fishing tourney, and surprise, I actually lost. Uh huh. Someone came out of the blue and ended up winning. Um, so there's also another fishing tourney next Sunday, so no worries there. But Ava caught a 26 inch bass. Um, greatly underestimated the power of the AI, apparently. Today is the first Tuesday of November, and thus is Mayor's Day. Mayor's Day has a, the unique distinction of being only in the original Animal Crossing. It's not in any other game. Come on, come all, come celebrate Mayor's Day. It may surprise you to learn that I'm the sponsor of today's event, Sprout. I owe you a tremendous political debt. I'm thanking all of my supporters with a small token of my appreciation. It's a well model. Trust that this gift will ensure your future support. <laughs> what else does he say? Today is the greatest day of the year. So, I'm not 100% sure, but my assumption is that might correspond to like election day, but I'm not 100% sure because I think this is actually in the Japanese version too, so I'm not sure. In any case, we've only been rolling for about a minute, so let's actually go talk to everybody because we haven't had a good old fashioned hangout day for a long time. So, Tad, uh, of course, likes rain, uh, being a frog, I'm assuming. What? Really sweet? That'd be awesome! Could you take this picture book over to- Wow, that's convenient. <laughs> I was just there. I like how he says Daisy lives right over there because she actually does live really close by. To the point where it comes off as incredibly lazy, honestly. It's literally two screens away. Any case, in any case, here's the picture book. Hey great, this is the picture book I left over at Tad's house. I didn't expect you to bring it to me. How nice. Might be a little big, but I want you to have this piece of furniture. Thanks to you, that took no time at all. Uh, so she gave us a cabin bed, or well, yeah, cabin bed. Also, the camera, I accidentally re received a quest uh, for Betty. Truth be told, because Animal Crossing literally takes up an entire memory card, I deleted that town. So unfortunately, I can't actually complete that request. Uh, and also, I, I'm fairly certain a certain amount of time actually has to pass before you can actually apologize. No, wait, you don't apologize. Uh, eventually, he'll take it back. In this case, uh, Tangy will take it back. Until then, we just have a really cloggy inventory, unfortunately. Also, I accidentally sold the fishing trophy off screen, so that was a huge mistake, but luckily, there are a lot of fishing tourneys. Uh, Twerp is maybe in this house? I don't see him. In later games, the characters will always have chimneys. Therefore, you can actually tell if they're inside their houses if there's smoke coming out of the chimney. That's a very new leaf thing, though. I'm not entirely sure if that's actually the case in Wild World or City Folk. I lump those two together because they're essentially the same game. Uh, not to discredit City Folk's editions, but they're essentially the same game. City Folk has more like seasonal holidays, Wild World has more original holidays, like Lottie Day, which is a holiday for creating a new town tune and so on and so forth. They have like flea markets, which I'm not sure are in New Leaf. So there's a lot of cool stuff in those games. If I do another Animal Crossing Let's Play, it will indeed be Wild World. Uh, as of the time of recording, August 8, it is not currently on the Wii U Virtual Console. Therefore, I can't actually Let's Play it yet. So if it's ever on the Virtual Console, uh, we will most likely return to Animal Crossing with uh, Wild World. Safe Folk is basically the same thing, so if I do Wild World, I would also go for all the differences in Safe Folk. Not here to entertain you, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, I can take a hit. Hint. Let's see. Who else haven't we talked to in a while? Portia, Cody, and Butch, I suppose, are next on the list. Actually, Cody 
is not because he lives on top of the cliff, meaning I'll have to pass by Punchy's house. So Punchy's actually next after Butch. Yap, 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 I hate noise in the morning. Who invited you in here anyway? Uh, yeah, repeating dialogue is an issue in this game. But the actual original dialogue uh, for actual conversation prompts does tend to vary quite a bit, actually. Another key difference in this game is you cannot listen in on other animals' conversations. That was added in Wild World. So, yeah, no eavesdropping in this game. Gotta pick up another item for Portia, the one I accepted off screen. So, man, we are just collecting so much stuff from Portia today. <laughs> Try not to fail me utterly. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But, oh, uh, I actually forgot something. The apologize feature is not what I thought it was. It's specifically for uh, animals who move out. If someone moves out and they don't go to another town, that's what the apologize is for. It's not for just any old item, basically. It's for specifically items that are impossible to actually return. Also, something I should note is there is an actually very small chance that you can get a repeat villager. Problem, there are hundreds of villagers in this game, so to loop back around to the point where you start getting repeats is a very small chance. I think uh, I remember hearing something or reading something about how in this game in particular, it's a, like a point like zero 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 etc etc uh, percent chance of like getting the same villagers in two different towns uh, from a fresh save. Like if you boot up the game, there's like an, an infinitesimally small chance that you will have the same villagers the next time you start a new town. But that's an incredibly small possibility because there are, uh, let's see, there's the jocks, there are the snoots, there are the cranky people, there are the normal people, there are the peppy people, and the lazy people. That's six villager types. Therefore, you have six different possibilities, and you usually will end up with all the same archetypes in some arrangement. Thus, the chances you get the same people in all six categories or even one, is incredibly small. That's part of the reason I was happy that I got cubed so quickly in this game, because, again, it's a very small margin to actually have cube in your town. It's, like, impossibly small to have two animals, like, just, like, one repeat, essentially. But I actually did get cube in this game, so that makes me actually really happy. Um... I've had cube in, I think, every town I've ever had at some point, except I don't think I've ever had cube in New Leaf, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he's ever shown up in New Leaf, which is kind of a bummer. But yeah, in Wild World, I specifically remember when cube moved out being a very tragic event. <laughs> because cube is my favorite villager because he was in my very first town. Like cube and um, Kiki the cat. And Mitzi was also a very early one. So I have certain attachments to certain villagers just because they're very early on. Cousteau the frog, who funny f story, I never actually realized that he was a frog until I was much older. And I realized that his eyes were actually not his mustache. Uh, I suppose I could do this question of the day. How many of you thought the same thing? That his mustache actually kind of looks like closed eyes. Just a little random thing, I suppose. Talk to Ava. Good morning. It may be raining, but you can't let the rain drown your spirits. Even though it's getting colder out, they're still holding a fishing tourney on the weekends. You shouldn't be in such a shut-in. Get out there and have a good time. I did participate. I just lost horribly. To you, might I add. Uh, is Cuban? No, he is not in, so... Uh, there's always one villager that I can't find. It's... Kind of frustrating, but this happens every single time I play this game where there's just one character I cannot find. Why do you feel so lazy when it rains? Um, actually, I could theorize that uh, there's a bit of uh, atmospheric pressure. Generally, higher pressure equates to warmer temperatures, and lower pressure equates to, uh, uh, like lower. Like rain, for example, 
and lower air pressure, like clouds and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if atmospheric pressure actually is uh, substantial enough to make us a, a considerable uh, impact on that sort of thing. Ah, I can't talk apparently. Anyway, Blair is right there, so that rhymed. Let's talk to her now. How are you doing this morning? My morning stroll was positively ruined by this awful inconvenient rain. You know, I have ha a bad habit of saying not lit all the time. Do you ever do that? Do you have anything you find yourself saying a lot? Uh, okay. I've been making this observation a lot lately. Lately? Lately? Did I say basically a lot? <laughs> So I'm telling her to say this too. So I don't know, just, that's just a little reminder to me to stop saying that, I suppose. So who's left? Cody, Cube, and uh, Axel are the only people we have talked to. And then we will we'll have completed our little round. And Cody's right here. I jumped out of bed ready to meet the day head on, but look at this rain. Yuck. Doesn't seem to phase you the slightest bit though. What are you, water resistant? Crazy Red, he's that guy who runs the furniture emporium. He seems kind of seedy. You just watch yourself. There's more to him than meets the eye. He's actually a Decepticon. Fun fact, I've actually never seen Transformers. I've only played one game, and that's literally it. Uh, the one on PlayStation, what was it? War for Cybertron? It was okay, kind of average. A lot of people really liked it though, so I respect that. It was a fun game, but it just um, I just lacked the interest in the franchise to really get into it. Uh, but as of recording, it's actually getting an HD re-release tomorrow, but because it's an Activision game, no one expects anything from it because Marvel Ultimate Alliance just came out and it is a train wreck on all consoles. PS4 and Xbox, oh well, PS4 is missing the DLC, so that's annoying. But like Xbox and PC specifically had some like ridiculous bugs that just were completely uh, impacting the game's performance. Stuff like controllers not working on PC, stuff like that. Like controller mapping also not being an option. So yeah, no one really trusts Activision HD Remix anymore. <laughs> For good reason, because all of them are terrible. Even the original stuff isn't that good anymore, like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. Anyway, let's actually get back to Animal Crossing. I was just going on that little tangent because he said more than meets the eye and we were still trying to find Axel. So we actually have something for Axel from Dottie. That's my handkerchief. I am so stoked you brought this back for me. Thanks. Think these clothes will work for you? The fabric is like a massage for your skin. Cool. Um, that was my stomach. I haven't... I just had breakfast, I think. Um, I don't know if that actually picked up, but if it did, that's why. Butch and... Yeah, just Butch, it looks like. So we have to make his way back all the way around. But first, I'm still trying to find Cube. I cannot find him at all. And again, this happens from time to time, where there's just one villager that you cannot find, no matter how hard you look. It's definitely a problem I have in all Animal Crossings. But New Leaf actually tries to alleviate it a little bit because they give you a megaphone that allows you to call out an animal's name and they will respond and it's sort of directional so the text box will be like on part of the screen in the direction that they actually are. So it's a really good way to actually find people except as you may or may not be aware the 3DS's uh, microphone isn't really the best. It's not great, so it often doesn't actually work as intended. Aka, like one time I remember calling out someone's name and someone else responded, uh, someone else whose name sounded nothing like the other animal. So yeah, a little buggy. I'm sure uh, a lot of people have had the same experience as well with the megaphone and New Leaf. It's a cool idea, just the detection is kind of iffy. But then again, when you program in, what, like 600 animal names? Well, it would be kind of a feat, wouldn't it? Something else I'd like to point out is, yeah, the number of animals in these games is incredible. Uh, there are tons of animals, and statistically speaking, there are the most cats of any animal. The least 
uh, common are octopi, I think. In this game, there might be an octopus exclusive to the island, but not on the mainland. Uh, but Wild World has uh, one, and I think New Leaf added another, so there are only like two octopi. I think octopi is the plural. In any case, let's finish up with some shopping really quick. There is a uh, classic bed, but I sadly already have a full classic theme. What I'm trying to finish up right now is the blue theme. And I'd also like to take a moment to point out that uh, multiple files is actually a good way to store stuff. Sadly, that means you have to pay off a lot of debt, of course. Uh, but it is actually a good way to store things, having multiple files. That's what I do in New Leaf. In New Leaf, I actually have a separate character, specifically just because my dresser drawers were completely full. I have no room to store anything, so I had to basically create a second house in order to just fit all my furniture series. Because I tend to, like, get furniture series and rotate them out, so it takes up a lot of space, 12 items per series. In the average ammo crossing, but in uh, New Leaf, it's actually 13 because they had the ability to hang things on walls. Therefore, for example, you have like a wall shelf for the blue theme. That's not in any other ammo crossing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need two more. Uh, I don't remember what they were. I think one is um, another cabinet, like not like a cabinet, but like something this size, like a, I don't know what to call it, uh, and I think a table, so we need two more, but that's not the point of this. The point is, we have a special item, so let's show it off. The well model is less elaborate than I would have liked. Uh, I wish it had all the pavement surrounding it, because it looks kind of empty as is, but I suppose on, in a scale model, it gets the job done. If you want to recreate your town, a lot of people do because the basement, I think, is enough squares to do so. So a lot of people do actually like to use their basement to recreate their town layout. Um, so that's just a little thought for your decorating. In any case, the next holiday is actually three days from now. That's kind of a fast turnaround. November is a busy month, but thankfully for us, then after that, or actually for me, thankfully for me, the next holiday is the Harvest Festival or Thanksgiving, followed by Black Friday or Sale Day. So, uh, after the next video, it'll be a good two weeks before we meet back in town. So in any case, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Animal Crossing.